came alone? Like I said, Mr. Elton, just me and my furs. How about? Let's take a look at them. I'm a little disappointed. What do you mean? These furs, they're not of the quality I expected. They're the best furs I ever trapped. Plus, you said you were going to give me more money in the traders in Border Town. That was before I saw what you had to offer. As I remember, it's incredible, Marie. What are you doing here? I came to see you, of course. Don't be silly. <laughs> Tell me the truth. Let me just look at you. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, I'd like you to meet my friends. Corporal Clive Bennett. Nice Pleasure. to see you. Marshal Jack Craddock. This is my oldest friend, Julien Lussac. And uh, this is... Marshal! Big Mart's been stopped! Go get the doctor's bag, quick! Dalty. Where'd you find them? In the clearing by Chilliwack Creek. Did you see anyone else there? Just Big Bart lying on the ground. No sign of his furs, either. Doc, is he gonna make it? It's too late. He lost too much blood. You find who killed him. Big Bart never hurt no one, Corporal. We'll do what we can. Here, <laughs> try it on. It's been so long since I've seen such beautiful things. But you deserve beautiful things around you, Mary. Mm. You certainly know the way to a woman's heart. Hmm? 
remember how much fun we all had together. You and Jack, always teasing me. I was... I was always in love with you, Marie. But Jack got there first. What with this hard pan, best I can tell is he uh, crawl right through here. Yeah. I wonder what that French fellow's doing in town. I don't know, but it looks suspicious to me. Where's his horse? What, Frenchies? No, Bart's. And the furs. Someone took the furs. <sighs> yeah, well, I say we go ask him some questions. Who? Julien? On what grounds? He can't suspect every stranger comes into town. Yeah, and why not? Hey, look at this. What do you think? Looks like a piece of antler from a knife handle. Big Bart's knife's got a wooden handle. Come on. So, uh, you're telling me that this uh, Frenchman, Mr. Lusak? Yeah, that one. You're telling me that he hired you to guarantee him top quality furs. That's correct. Uh -huh. Why? Seems to me it would eat into his profits. Yeah. Well, I'm an expert on furs. He pays me well, and he makes a lot of money. I, uh, I, uh, I don't ask any questions. He got a temper. A uh, temper? It's none of my business, really. Ever seen this before? <sighs> like I said, it's none of my business. Why don't you ask, Mr. Lussac? Huh? I don't trust him. Neither do I. I'm gonna go ask that Frenchman some questions. Mr. Lussac? Yep. Let's not make any rash accusations, huh, Jack? What in tarnation are you talking about? You're willing to pin this murder on him because he's a friend of Marie's. Yeah, that's crazy. Is it? Everything is perfect. I can't remember the last time I enjoyed myself as much. Mary, tell me, why, why do you stay here? It's hard to explain. Border Town has become my home. <laughs> Mary, you're not comparing Paris with... It. I understand you deal in furs, is that right? Good evening, Marshal. Uh, yes. I deal in furs, as well as many other things. You ever seen this before? What is this about? I found it where they murdered Big Bart. You know anything about it? What's going on? Julien? Well, Marshal thinks that I had something to do with the murder. Jack! How could you? Julien is a friend of mine. We'll talk about this another time, Marie. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Marie, I want you to come with me. Marry me. Let me take care of you. <laughs> but Julien, I... These people need me. I need you. We can find another doctor, but I can never find another woman like you. At least think about it. Jacques would have wanted me to look after you. Thank you, Julien. For the evening, for everything. I have much to think about. Good night. Good night. I'm leaving.
leaving town. It was you, wasn't it? What are you talking about? <laughs> Show me your knife. That's what you're looking for? I was right not to trust you. Help me! Help! Somebody! He tried to kill me. I appreciate you treating me, Miss Dumont, especially under the circumstances. I have difficulty believing that Julien could have done such a thing. Hmm. I've been doctored before, Miss Dumont. You did a fine job. How much do I owe you? No charge. Right. Much obliged. I'll be at the hotel if you should want me. Fine. You're giving it serious thought, aren't you? What? About leaving here with Julien? Yes. All right. I understand. But will you let me tell you why I think it's a mistake that you go? Why Jack and I don't want you to go? Julien's in jail. I must go to him. We can talk later, can't we? No. Is this going to be serious? Um. Marshal Craddock? Yep. In Paris, I have a cousin who's an advocate. A what? A lawyer. Is that a fact? Yes. He represents uh, murderers, criminals, thieves, you know. Sure. And he told me that unless the prosecution can prove a, a motive for the crime, there is little chance for conviction. Motive? Motive, yes. Motive. Motive, the reason a person had for committing a crime. Yeah, sure. I knew that. Tell me, Marshal, what was my motive for killing the third trapper? Well, that's simple, ain't it? You refused to pay him the price he wanted for his furs. Ask the others. I have the reputation of paying top prices. Well, then, uh, he insulted you and uh, you lost your temper and you stabbed him. I mean, I've heard of that happening more than once before. Maybe. But you know, Marshal, in my country, when a man is insulted, there is a duel with pistol. A gunfight, yep. you call it, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, to stab a man in the back, that's not my style. No, 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 no. How long are you going to keep him in here? Look, Marie, we've just Jack, why don't we give Marie and Julien some privacy? What? Yeah, all right. We'll be back in a little while. Thank you. <sighs> Julia, I'm so sorry. I know you didn't do it. They know you didn't do it. It's amusing, really. What? I'm beginning to think that your two friends paid Elton to put the blame on me. They would never do that. I know. But I also know how worried they are that I'm going to take you away with me. Well, she hasn't made up her mind yet. 
You know, I don't get what she sees in that fella. I really don't. Are you serious? The guy's sophisticated. He's world-traveled. He's wealthy. He's handsome. He's... All right, that's enough. Let's face it, Jack. We got the wrong man locked up. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know, it's always bothered me that he didn't have a motive for killing Big Bart. That ever occur to you? Everything points to Elton, doesn't it? Yeah, but we just don't have any proof. I mean, it's one man's word against the others, ain't it? Well, we can't just let him get away with murder. Yeah, well, he's gonna. He's selling his furs in the morning, taking the first stage to San Francisco. Nice shot. You know, it's too bad that each fur trapper doesn't have a, a way of marking his pelts. That way, we'd know if Elton was in possession of Big Bart's furs. Then we'd have something. And who says they don't? We know they don't, Jack. Look, Clive, when you have a great idea, don't go stepping on it like that. It ain't becoming. Come on. Got your story straight? I've gone over it twice with Marshal. He'll do just fine, Corporal. Marshal, what are you doing about Elton? He's the one who should be in this dead. Yeah, well, we're working on it there, Mr. Lou... Lusak. Lusak. Yeah, right. Lusak! y'all to uh, just move along here. We might have a little trouble in here, and I don't want anybody getting hurt, all right? <clears throat> Mr. LeBeau, we're looking for some stolen furs. Sir, the Hudson Bay Company does not deal in stolen furs. Mr. LeBeau, Big Bart was murdered a few days ago, and his furs were stolen. I didn't know. Nolte here trapped with him for several years and says that Bart had a special way of scraping the skin. He had an old scraping knife that had three bits missing, so it left a high spot of three lines on all his skins. You can hardly see them, but you can feel them. That's ridiculous. You can't tell one trapper's furs from another, and you know it. I could tell Bart's furs blindfolded. I'll accept this man's word as legal evidence. Well, in that case, I don't see how any law-abiding man can refuse you. Corporal? These aren't Bart's furs. Wait a minute. This is one of Bart's. And this. And this. Everybody down! Hold it right there! Give it up, Elton. Drop the gun, Elton. Drop it! You'll never prove I killed Bart. Yeah, we thought about that. If you don't give us a signed confession that you killed Bart, we're going to set you free. What? Yeah, that's right. You'd be free until Big Bart's trapper buddies caught up with you. And then, well, then I don't know. Come on. Think of the life we will have together. You will be my princess. And what a wonderful hostess you'll be. But, Julia, I thought you understood my interest in medicine. I did? I do, but once we are married and have a beautiful home, our social life will take up a great deal of our time. Julien, please listen to me. And then, then 
You will travel with me. Not to back whose place is like this, but... Julien, I want to have a proper education so that I, I can become a, a doctor, a real doctor. But why? What for? You will be my wife. Isn't that enough? I suppose she'll at least say goodbye? After what we did to her fiancé, not a chance. Well, Marie, it's, uh, it's been, uh, it's been great knowing you. And uh, I knew you'd come to say goodbye. I came to tell you that Julien has forgiven you both. Well, that's, uh, that's mighty fair of the man, Marie. And he'll be sending you a token of his appreciation from Paris. Like I was saying, it's really been swell Jack, knowing you Jack, and... Uh, appreciation for what? For taking good care of me, for amusing me, for protecting me from wild animals and wild cowboys. Do you mean... He will not be taking care of you from now on? Yahoo! <laughs> Dude, she's staying. What? She's staying. <laughs> Thank you.